Hey everyone, Tony here. Thanks for dropping in. Tony's LPs are us. I appreciate it. Appreciate the subs, the likes. Try to give you um, some vinyl content on a weekly basis. We've been doing a uh, probably a video every couple of days. I do a lot of shorts, but I don't con even consider that any preparation. We basically uh, use the YouTube soundtracks, which are great. Now we could actually use one minute and i like to showcase some of my og records that way so i've been getting a lot of success with those i really appreciate it but today i'm online and actually i was alerted because i subscribed to the roger waters uh youtube uh, page or site and today he dropped his video on his announcement of the dark side of the moon redo which is coming soon and pre-orders are now available for an October drop. Uh, we talked about that in a previous video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the video with the um, closed captions so you could see what Roger has to say. And he's basically not saying anything that is extraordinary or new. He just feels that after 50 years, the world is in not a, a better place, but or not a worse place, but not a greater place than it was when he recorded the dark side of the moon in 73 or 72. Um, so we're going to watch that video. He's also going to go over the band members who are in that band. And I've looked that up. A lot of those names were new to me. Some weren't. And I'll just uh, relay that to you. And you could catch the video, of course, on YouTube, but I'm just going to play it here through my, uh, my low, this is a low budget video, uh, low technology. I'm just going to put it on my uh, tablet and you could read along. When he gets to the band members, I will go over those with you and then that's it. So thanks again. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And this is uh, Tony's LPs are us. Here we go. Uh, actually, Rogers is the new man in black. He's been wearing black for years. But when I saw him on this, I'm thinking Johnny Cash reimagined, perhaps. I hope you could see this. I'm just trying to be low tech, but I wanted to show his words in text because he is thoughtful. But like I first thought, there's really not much new that we already don't know about Roger. But we will at least get to know who is playing on the album. And that, according to him, it sounds spectacular. So I'm, I'm actually waiting for it. Yes, it's been part of our lives for 50 years. That's a fact. No new graphics, same graphic. I thought he was going to actually play a few more of the tunes, the reimagined tunes, but he didn't. He just talked about the band and the uh, musicians. Here we go. Roger 79. He looks good. We just had a big birthday for Mick, number uh, number 80. And Roger's 80 is uh, approaching. Actually, 80 is the new 60, so we're all in pretty good condition. We're in good shape.
get back to radio. Radio Chaos. Remember that album? So there you have it. Just, um, you know, my quick low technology, low budget reaction video. And uh, 50 years. There it is. Great. Thank you, Roger. And uh, like I said, what I'm going to do is go over the band members. He announced, I just have my notes here. Excuse me if I look down. John Karen, American, played with The Who, played with Pink Floyd Touring Band. Also was in the original Spinal Tap. I guess he was one of the musicians behind the scenes. He was with Rogers Touring Band. Keyboards, steel guitar, lapsed guitar. So it's an American. John Karen. Joey Walker, American drummer, played with R.E.M. on tour. Yoko Paul, Sir Paul, played with Beck, just Beck. Johnny Cash, Ubies, was on Tracy Chapman's, one of her LPs. And he's on Rogers' Is This the Life We Really Want, which was his 217 LP, which I haven't heard. Gus, uh, he's a drummer. Gus Shefford, guitar toured with him and was on the band with it was on the record is this the life we really want 217 uh jonathan wilson guitar uh co co-wrote tunes with roy harper was with jackson brown played on the comfortably numb tour uh 2022 i believe and he was also on this is the life we really want 2017 so we're seeing uh rogers has put together a band there's more but Rogers has put together a, a group of musicians who are par none. Their Wikipedia pages go on and on and on. This is just a brief summary for this uh, this segment. But he put together a group of guys who are really comfortable, and they're really not stars in their own right. There's no, uh, unfortunately, to have Jeff Beck on one of his albums. You know, there's no Clapton. There's no Ringo um, playing drums or, th or things of that sort. Zach Starkey. But he's put together an ensemble, which is really going to be interesting. Um, also in the band is Johnny Shepard. He's an organ player, and he was a um, director of a church choir in uh, Shepardport, Louisiana, which was a Zion Baptist church, and somehow they pulled him away. And he was also with some other rock bands. He also um, did some touring, so he is now with... Um, with water, and that should be interesting. Uh, last but not least is the uh, female vocalist, also known as Bedon, or B-E-D-O-U-I-N-E. -E. That's her stage name. Her birth name is Azid, Aziv, Kornikayan, K-O-R-K-E-J-I-A-N. And she's been a longtime recording artist in her own right since 216, 217. She has multiple albums. Uh, she's been active since 216. Um, she's also uh, collaborated with a number of uh, festivals and touring troops. And uh, she plays guitar. She writes. Multi-talented. And I believe this is her first collaboration with uh, Roger. So that's just a brief summary of the uh, people in the band. And I'm really looking forward to this, and I guess everyone else is. You know, 50 years. Here we have it, the 50-year anniversary, which was the live concert that was originally released this year. And um, there you have it. So if if uh, you yeah, leave a comment, if I left somebody out or left something in that I shouldn't have, well, please let me know. Please comment and like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, we really appreciate all the uh, subs, and we hope that you are looking forward to this Roger Waters LP. And like Roger said, it it needed a rediscovery, and if you think about it, uh, why not have him do it? Um, you know, how many times have we heard uh, Mozart or uh, reinterpretations of Mozart symphonies or Beethoven? or Beatles, uh, which were reworked by other artists. So here we're getting it reworked by uh, the composer and the founder of Pink Floyd. So it should be pretty cool. And I hope you enjoy this segment. Thanks a lot. Keep safe. And Tony LPs are us are out. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.
Thank you.